Hey guys, Justin from Talk Android here with the new LG G5, and I wanted to show you how to put um, the app drawer back on the phone because when the phone was announced back at MWC 2016 in February, um, LG did not include an app drawer, meaning all apps on the G5 are just spread throughout the phone. No app drawer in sight, nowhere to store them aside from folders throughout the pages of your home screen. So if you go to Chrome and you go to the LG World website, you're going to need to download um, the LG Smart World app because select variants of the G5, uh, specifically here in the United States, are not shipping with the LG Smart World app. So you have to go to lgworld.com and you have to search for LG Home 4.0. When you go to the bottom and go to download it, it will ask for your region, it will ask for your language, and then it will bring you to a download page for downloading the LG Smart World app. When you do that, Chrome will bring up permissions and you can choose to allow. It will then download the APK. You can see that downloading any minute now. We'll just wait for this in the meantime. Um, so LG Smart World is just um, an app that enables different customization uh, for the G5 and access to, uh, you know, LG's own apps. Um, so you can do different things with your G5. It was pre pre-installed on the G4. Not really sure why it's not on the G5. I guess carriers or whoever uh, got in the way of allowing that. So we're almost done downloading. Almost there. There we go and 100%. Okay, so when you select it, um, you go to the package installer, ignore lookout, then the phone will need you to allow installs from unknown sources. We say yes, and then now that that's out of the way, we have to go back to the downloads page, select LG Smart World, hit install. The app will then install on your G5, then you can open it, accept what it has to say. It will load, but we can... Oh. There we go. So now you're going to search LG uh, 4.0 Home. Maybe, yeah. LG Home 4... 4.0 there we go. It'll now take us to a listing for that app. You can download it right onto your device. And say OK. And now it will start a near 20 megabyte download. We will wait for that to finish, but in the meantime we can read about it. See, even here, um, LG shows uh, screenshots of the app drawer running on the G5, so it doesn't really make sense as to why it's not on this phone. Um, but, you know, that's what this video and guide is for. So, in the description, you can see it says LG Home, based on UX 4.0, that was last year's version of LG software overlay. Provide separate layout for the home screen and apps list. You can customize your home screen by adding apps and widgets. And then it gives you directions uh, to add an application icon to the home screen from the app screen. Uh, change the style of an app icon. Select seven kinds of screen wipe effects. Uh, change the order of home screens or your default home screen. Uh, pinch in on the home screen. And it says LG Home 4.0 is only available for LG phones. Also, the LG UX 4.0 home screen cannot be backed up or restored. So, uh, what you do on this device is stuck on this device. So, we're waiting for LG Home 4.0 to finish downloading. A lot of dead air. Still waiting. And it is complete now. It's got to install, so we're going to be waiting for that. Um, now it's installed, so when we press 
this home button, it should give us the option to change. There we go. So on the far left, you see home. Uh, that is what you've been seeing on the G5. The center one is easy home. I guess that's for senior citizens or the less tech savvy person. And then on the far right is home based on UX 4.0. And you want to choose use as default app because if you only choose, uh, if you don't choose to fill that box and you press it, and then you press home again, every time you do that, it it will bring up uh, you know these three options. So you want to choose that box uses default app and then press OK. Now you can see the app drawer is present as as we've seen. So you get what we saw with G4 last year and previous LG devices. You get an entire uh, panel for widgets. Um, so that's it. That's how you get the uh, app drawer back on the G5. And then if you need to do anything else, you go to the, the LG Smart World app. Um, so again, uh, the app drawer can be brought back to the LG G5, and we will be having more on the G5, including guides and the full review of the phone, uh, coming soon on TalkAndroid.com.